Hello everybody, I uh, <clears throat> want to show you the new motor that I built. I extended the old motor. This was the old one and I've extended it and made some good modifications. I want to show you how I did that. Uh, I basically put a coupling pipe in between here and here and then I'm going to put magnets on over here and here like I explained in the last video and I'm going to wrap 26 gauge wire about a thousand times around this here so the side magnet magnets and the middle can pick up electrical currents for more charge anyway how I built this was I just got a um, simple cutting board over at Ross for like five bucks uh, it's a half an inch thick and it makes it really nice because you can tap uh, your screws right into it and they hold very well I want to show you that here there's the tapping bit I just bought a quarter inch tapping bit and then all the screws I use to put it together are all quarter inch and it works out really well there's a kit you can buy um, with the uh, drill bit, the exact drill bit you need, and the tap in it, it's like six bucks or something like that. So this is what I did. <clears throat> I cut my dimensions of the board. Um, it cuts very well on a table saw, or if you don't have a table saw, it's a hand saw, but it doesn't uh, melt when you cut it, which is nice. It cuts just like wood, very smooth. Um, so I did that, I cut my dimensions out, and then I tapped holes for quarter inch screws on each side here. And that way I can just take it apart when I need to and it's very sturdy and stable. And I tapped quarter inch screws here to remove the bearing. The bearing is actually uh, stuck inside there. It's kind of a, a holding pin here on the side to hold the bearing in place so it can just move quite easily. I did that on both sides. I thought that was pretty cool. I just tapped it in and got these little nice little handy dandy screws so I can take them out. Did the same on the other side. Okay. Now I wrap my coil up. Uh, I haven't got my iron core yet but it seems to be working quite well without a core. You can see there my coil does not have a core. So I will turn it on in a little in a minute here as soon as I get it lined up and show you how the Bedini circuit is working with this new coil. What I did was on the low end I used 26 gauge wire wrapped it together with the 22 gauge wire I've got about 700 wraps on that on the coil okay so that's that there's some weird stuff going on that I want to share with you as well uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing started and uh, show you what's going on here Okay, this, is, this battery here is going to be my charging battery. This battery over here is my primary battery. Okay, so I'm going to hook up the charging side first. Here. I'll do the positive side last. Here. You see how it starts up? Okay, so I have to get that on there real quick and get it turning. It's been making some funny noises lately, I tell you that. I don't know what is going on with this circuit. But hopefully somebody will help me figure that out. Now it's not working. Okay. Hold on a second. I think I have a loose wire. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick this up, but there is some weird frequency sounds going on 
when I turn this and hook up the positive There is some funky, funky sounds going on. So I'm going to try to figure out what this is and I'll be back. Okay. I don't know what that was. But you can see the bulb flickering. Now it's going to look steady once it starts to crank up. You hear that sound again? It only happens when I turn the pot down too far. That sound, I don't know if you can hear it, it's a very high frequency sound. So, so be it. Maybe somebody can explain that. Anyway, I'm going to get this thing up to speed here. And uh, show you the voltages. And I'm going to let it run for a while. And... Uh, See what kind of readings we get. Okay. Okay. Let me show you the reading on the charging battery. I wish I had four hands. Okay, we're at twelve point six volts. That's the battery being charged. And battery pulsing the circuit. Is at twelve point four one. I'm gonna let this run for an hour and then come back and give you guys some results. Uh, before I do that, uh, I want to show you something that's really very strange. When I pull the charging battery lead off, this light starts strobing uncontrollably and extremely bright. Okay, I don't know why that is, uh, maybe some of you can explain that as well. So I'm going to take this off and show you what the reading is on the charge. Hope you can all see this. Positive and negative. I'm actually getting... eighteen point four volts and that light is just bright as can be so if somebody can explain that I would appreciate it I will see you in an hour <laughs> 